Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to see how we can use Visual Studio Code to remotely connect to our Jetson device and then remotely program and debug Python scripts. Now I'm using Jetson Xavier but if you have Jetson Nano or any other Linux based machine you can still follow up with this tutorial. So let's get started. So first thing we need to do is that we need to install Visual Studio Code on your machine. So I'm currently on a Windows 10 laptop. So I've installed Visual Studio Code on my Windows 10. But if you have Linux or any other system, you can install Visual Studio on that as well. Similarly, I will, I'm also connected to my Jetson device using no machine. So again, if you have any other Linux based or any Ubuntu machine, you can still follow with this tutorial. So I'm currently connected to my Jetson using no machine. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to install the remote SSH extension on the Visual Studio Code because all the operations we are going to do are based on the SSH. So what you need to do is you need to go into the extension and then type in SSH here. Once you type in, you will be you will get this remote SSH options from Microsoft. I have already installed this, so I'm not going to install it, but you will have to install it. As soon as you install it, you will notice that a remote explorer option comes here. Now along with this you will also notice that a small green icon is also present here. So once you have installed the remote SSH extension we need to click on this green icon. Now this will give us a lot of options. We need to click on connect to host. Now because this is our first time so we need to add a new SSH host. Once we have added the SSH host it will automatically show our host here so we can directly connect to it but because this is our first time so we need to click on add new SSH host. Now here we need to type the command SSH and then the username of your Linux machine. In my case the username is rocket for my for my Jetson device so and then you need to enter the IP address. Now click enter. Now it is asking us to save that configuration in a file. So we will be saving the configuration in this file. Once that is done, you can either click connect here or you can again go back to this green icon, connect to host and then simply click on your IP address here. Now it will launch another window and then it will try to open the connection. So here it's now asking us for the password. So I'll click, I'll enter the password. And let's also close this older window and let's maximize this. So you can see it is still connecting and now it is successfully connected to our remote device, which is our Jetson. Now, once we are connected to our Jetson device or any of your Linux machine, we can open the folders on our remote device by clicking this icon. Now click on open folder and this will then show you all the options you have on your all the folders you have on your remote device so i'm just going to click on the documents and then i'm just going to click ok it's asking for the password again so i will write the password Okay, now you will notice that we already have a new file created here app.py. This is the file on which we worked on the last time. But if you want to create a new file, you can simply click on this icon and then you can also create a new file. Now, whatever file you create or whatever work you do will automatically be saved on your Jetson device and not on your local system. Now once that is done, you need to install Python. Now you must be wondering why we need to install Python because we already have a Python connected to our VS code, but you need to make sure that now our VS code is not running on our local system, but it's connected to our remote device. So we need to install all the packages or all the Python extensions for the remote device as well. So we need to go again here in extension. And now if you type here Python, you will notice that, I mean, it's not asking me for installing on the SSH, but because I've already done that, but you will notice that here it's saying extension is enabled on SSH connection because we are connected to SSH. That's why it's showing us SSH. So you need to install it again and then it will be installed for your SSH connection, which is for your remote device. Now let's go back to our file. Let's close this and once you have installed the Python, you will also notice that here at the bottom side, it's showing the path as 
user slash bin slash python3 because this is the path this is normally the path where the pythons are installed inside a linux machine which means that we are connected to our linux machine json device we have opened the file and we are also connected to the remote interpreter so whatever python packages you have installed in your ubuntu machine or the linux machine or the json device will still be available here now from here you can simply you know you can simply edit this file so for example i can import i can import time i can import whatever packages i want i can do all the changes here and all these changes will be automatically saved inside my jetson device i don't need to copy file or i don't need to move any files so this is how you can connect to your remote device either it's ubuntu machine linux machine or jetson device from your vs code Okay, so now that we are connected to our Jetson device or the Linux machine and we know how we can easily write Python scripts from our local machine to our remote machine. Now let's also talk about how we can debug those Python scripts because debugging is also very important. Now in order to enable the debugging, we need to first install a Python package called debugpy on your, on your Linux machine or the Jetson device. So I'll quickly go to my Jetson device and I'll open the terminal. Here I will simply write pip3 install. Now this is going to install debugpy. I have already installed this. Okay, once debugpy is installed, we need to run a command. So first let's move inside our directory where our file is created. So I'll move into cd documents directory and I'm going to debug my app.py. So for that, I'm going to write python3 minus m debugpy and then minus minus listen. I'm going to here write the IP address of my JSON device. In your case, it will be the IP address of your whatever Linux machine you are using. So 192.168.1.21 and then the port number 5678 and then wait for client and then finally the name of your python file which you want to debug now let's hit enter now so what we have done is that we have started a debug server on your jetson device or maybe your linux machine now from the vs code we will connect to this debug server and then we will be able to quickly debug our python file so let's go back to our vs code now inside this go to the run and debug and then create a launch json file now here because we don't want to debug the local python file we want to remote attach to a debug server so i'll click on the remote attach now in this i'm going to enter the ip address of my jetson device now the port number will remain same and then this is going to create the launch.json file now i'll close this and i'll simply come back to my main python script and i'll put a breakpoint anywhere in the code so for example i'll put a breakpoint here i'll go to run and start debugging now you will notice that the break the our code has automatically breaked at this particular line where we have attached the breakpoint and now from this point you can simply use these debug tools and move further and debug your code as normally you would do so this is how you can uh, remotely debug your python scripts on your remote machine that can be a jetson device or it can be any other linux computer so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe